Want this text style on CapCut? Pro not required. Bet you're too drunk to be alone. What, what if some sicko had followed you down here? Let's begin. Extract the audio from your edit that you exported. Select Add Text and type your text in all caps. Then click Add Fonts and Import Cool Vetica from Defont.com. Go back to Styles and click on Glow. Select the second option. Intensity, 35 range, 75. Next, scroll over to Spacing. Character 3, now! Then go back to Text and put the opacity to 50%. This will serve as a guide for each word. Duplicate the text and shorten it to the first word. Set the opacity back to 100%. Go to animation and choose fade in. Set the duration for 0.4 or 0.5. Now place the word corresponding to the guide and make sure it's timed when the character speaks. Now duplicate that text. Delete the old word and type the new word. Place it correspondingly again and try to center it as much as possible. And time it each time the character says that word. Repeat this process for all your words until you've completed your text. It may take a while, but be a patient good boy. No complaints! Once you're done, it should look something like this. Now go into the audio and split it where the second part of the text is. Shorten the text a bit to fit the first part. Now move the guideline under the audio of the second part. Replace the text with your new text. Make sure you give the first part text enough room. Now duplicate it. Type and fade in each word again, just like the first part. Once you've finished, all your words go up and delete the guide text. If you followed all the steps correctly, it should look like this. Make sure each word is the same length. You may increase the duration of the words. If you want to change the color, click on each specific word and customize to your liking. Once you're done, export in the highest quality you can. Now. Go to your edit and add your text as an overlay. Mute the volume of it. Go over to layers and make sure it's on the very top layer. Go to splice then. Press filter to remove the black background. Split the overlay into the two parts of the text. Position your text where the character starts speaking. Then go over to mask and click horizontal. Rotate it 90 degrees and blend it like this. Then click Invert at the bottom left corner. Now move it to the left and add a keyframe where I do here. Add another keyframe at the end and move it all the way to the right. Now take your second text and position it to where the character says it. Add a normal keyframe at the beginning of the first text. Make it a bit smaller. Now add a second keyframe in between the masking keyframes. Make the text bigger on that keyframe. Mask keyframes should be more grayed out than your regular keyframes. Select your second text and add a keyframe at the start. Make it smaller. Now add a second keyframe at the end and make it bigger. Next, go to overlays and add a black picture. Go to layers and make sure it's below the text layer. Zoom it all the way in. Go over to mask and select circle. Follow what I do here with the mask. Next, shorten the black overlay to the first text. Click on it again and go to animation. Choose fade in. Set the duration so it fades in with the text. 
Go to animations again, select out, then fade out. Set the duration to 0.5. Now duplicate it and put it under the second text. Put it under the text layer. Put the same animations as before. If you have bigger text like I do here, you may need to widen the black overlay. And if the text is blocking a character's face, you need to remove the keyframes to move it. You'll also need to move the black overlay along with it like I do here with Joe's face. And just like that, you're finished. Becky, you're too drunk to be alone. What, what if some sicko had followed you down here? Becky, you're too drunk to be alone. What if some sicko had followed you down here? Thanks for watching. Ask questions in the comments.